Hi, I'm James Hamilton from Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. Many saws have adjustable inserts, which have these set screws that allow you to raise and lower it at the four corners. But other saws don't have that, or you may have an, a homemade zero clearance insert for your saw. So you're going to have to shim beneath it. The problem is that often you'll pull the insert out and the shims will fall down inside your saw, and that can be a pain. So here's a way to create shims that will stay on your insert. I've got my insert here. I've got some strips of wood that are slightly wider, about, about two, three inches wider than the opening on the top of my saw. And I've put some double-sided tape on the underside. The tape runs the full length of your strips. I'll attach these to the top of my insert, one towards the back and one towards the front. Now I'll have to move quickly because I'm going to use some hot glue to create shims. So I'll take the glue and I'll gob it on the tabs that support the insert. Then I'll attach the insert, I'll slide the insert into the slot and push it down so that it's flush with the top of the saw. These strips should help me to do that. It only takes about a minute for that glue to harden. And then you'll be able to pull out your insert and you'll have shims that are stuck to the bottom. While this is hardening, I should mention that before I put the glue on the tabs beneath the insert, I use some paraffin wax. I just scribble that on each of the tab and I even put a little bit around the top of the saw so this double-sided tape won't stick to the surface of the saw. It should be dry now, so let's pull it out. And as you can see, we have some shims that are hardened on the bottom and that will stay right with our insert. For more tips like this, join me for my class, Table Saw Basics. Sign up at creativehomeclasses.com.